Okay, there's just my uh, take on the bow, or as, uh, as commonly known in the martial arts world as uh, a rei, R-E-I, I believe it's spelled. Uh, the first one is just basically bowing in and out of the dojo. So whenever you walk into a dojo, um, you would face inside the dojo and just simply bow and then enter. Whenever you leave the dojo, you would bow and then leave. So you would always bow inside the dojo, never never bow outside to, walk to the dojo. So if, say, for example, uh, my, my dojo door is here, if I'm entering, I'll walk up to the edge, bow, and then enter. I'm leaving the dojo after my uh, after my class or after um, after after whatever. To the edge, bow, and then you can leave. The second one is uh, is a formal is a formal rate which could, which is done at the beginning, at the end of kata. Um, I always perform it at the end of uh, of an exercise, whether it be combinations. Every time every time somebody calls yame. That's when I would do the formal bow. So this is basically from a Heikadech position. You would bring your left foot into your right foot. Notice there's a slight adjustment with the right leg. So from there it's heel in, into Musubadech. So this is feet apart, Musubadech. Hands down by your sides, bow, back up. Hands cross at the groin. I always go left over right. Step your left foot out into Heikadech, and then as you pull the hands apart, fix up the right foot. So do that one again. So after we bring our left into right, hands are just down by the sides, not on the back side, not on the front. Some styles do it differently, but you're down by the sides, bow, you don't have to go all the way down, and certainly there's no need to look, regardless of what you see on TV. You bow, hands cross at the groin, Step your left foot out, make Heikadech, so this is nice and straight here. And then as the feet pull apart, you'll notice that, uh, sorry, as the, as the hands pull apart, you'll notice that the right foot corrects into Heikadech. And the hands are just down by the sides, pushing down to the floor, Seiken to the floor, not in front. This to me makes no sense, but just down by the sides. The third one is a, is a formal bow done at the start and at the end of every single class where you would sit in Cesar and mock Sue for a couple of seconds. So this would go this way and I'll give you, I'll best give you the, uh, you know, what I believe is the history on this as well. So from this position, we'll bring our left foot into right, turn to our left, kneel down with our right knee first, kneel down with our left knee second, face to the front, make sure our belt's nice and uh, well, nice and straight. Fist two, two. Uh, sorry, knees two fist distances from the from each other, and then sit with the hands at the top of the lap, back straight. No slouching here, and then you would mock su. Mock su is the meditation part. This will be done for um, twenty seconds or ten breaths, which would be that's one. is two. I'm exaggerating this so you can see. And then from this position, we will bow to uh, some styles, bow to their founder, um, who may no longer be around. Um, into Dashi, we bow to Shihan first. So it'll be left hand on the floor, right hand on the floor, make a triangle, head down, back up, right hand on the lap, left hand on the lap. Okay? Um, reasons for this, now the feet in Cesar um, should, be, should be together, mine crisscross at the back, and the reason that I believe they should be together is that from, th is that from this position you can, you, can, you, can, uh, you can kick, you can get straight up. Now when we arise from Cesar, I would always go right leg first, and then I would step away onto my left leg. Okay, now the reason for the hands, I've got a little, uh, well it's not, it's not little really, <laughs> um, is that in, uh, in Japan there were no left-handed samurai. So what would happen is the samurai would have a katana on their left hip, so I'm not going to tuck it in but I'll just hold it here for example. Then from this position we bring our feet together, turn to our 
left, right knee, left knee, and the katana would just sit in the belt here. Now the reason I would say go left hand first is that from this position, you can still reach and draw the sword if you need to. So you can still be drawn from this position. And then you can go right hand. Reason the hands come around in a circle is probably because this is protruding out of the way, so it would come around underneath, and then you can simply just bow back up with the right hand, just in case you need to draw your sword. And, uh, and also from this position we can, we can draw from this position, okay? Um, I've never done an aid on my, on my life, which I believe is the art of drawing the sword, so I don't know how to work a sword, so I won't profess to, to doing so. Um, I don't know if that story is true, but that, that's the story I'm going to stick with, and that's the story that I like. But from that position we can simply go from here, and draw, if that makes if that makes sense. Okay, so that's the there's the three the three bows um, or re. Um, when you are in the bow, it would be heels together. Or one thing that I would like to sort of implement and prefer is musubadach, which is bringing the heels together. Cesar, which is proper sitting. Moksu. Eyes closed. Do you 10 breaths or count to 20 seconds? Moksu yami, which is eyes open. From that position it would be, depending on who's taking the class, um, you know, some people bow to Shomani, um, which, is, uh, which is probably their founder and chief instructor. They're, you know, bowing to the front is Shomani, um, but we don't. Some people bow to, uh, bow to their, you know, some people turn around and bow to their founder who's not there, but they show that respect anyway, show that etiquette anyway. So for us it would be uh, Shihan, Rei, everybody will bow. It would be Sensei, Rei, then everyone will bow. And then it would be Otagani, Rei, and then everyone will bow. And then whoever's in charge of the class would then start the class. Okay, so um, that's my take on the bow. Um, on the three bows, there's the one into the dojo and out of the dojo. There's the one at the beginning at the end of kata. Um, there's the one where the, the, the sensei or shihan will say heels uh, or heels together. Uh, re, and that's when you do the bow. And yoi, yoi, is, uh, yoi, yoi means ready. So the, the yoi position is, if I just talk you through it, heels together. Or Mosubadach, Re, Yoi, or the uh, the one at the start of the one at the start of class is Mosubadach, or heels together, Seiza. So, Yama, Shiyan, Ai, Sensei, Ai, Otagani, Ai. Now, the start of class, only the person performing the bowing will turn and face the instructor. Okay? If, there's a, if the, the Shihan or founder isn't there, then they don't need to turn to that point. But when they bow to their instructor, when they're addressing their instructor, they bow. So for example, in some of my classes, there is, a, there is me and the sensei. So what would happen is the person would, would turn to face me, they'd bow to Shihan, they'd stay turned, bow to sensei, and then turn back for Otagani. In other classes, I'm not there. So they would stay facing the front, bow to Shihan, turn, bow to Sensei, turn back, bow to Otagani. Okay? Um, hope you got something from that. No doubt a lot of people may dispute this, but this is, uh, this is how we do it in Tadashi. Okay? Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, give us a subscription.